Hey Astro Kids and welcome back. This is your daily taroscope for December 22nd, 2019. And happy Capricorn season to all the Capricorns out there. Happy birthday. We have shifted into a brand new season. So things are more intense now. We're fully out of Sagittarius. The only planet that is still in Sagittarius is Mercury, which of course is in detriment in Sagittarius. And we have this major Mars sextile over to Pluto, which is super intense. This is getting us ready to take action and to move into this change this transformation that we're going into of course we're a few days away from this new moon solar eclipse in capricorn so this intensity is building up in capricorn and mars and scorpio is supporting this with this sextile as mars and scorpio is saying it's time to take action it's time to move it is time to make a solid decision now and it is making this sextile over to pluto and capricorn which is coming into this major conjunction with Saturn. And of course, if you want to know more about the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, go and check out my last video. This is a major buildup that we are leading up to in 2020. So we are in this rising action of this story now, the intensity starting to build up and this is sort of your last moment to make a choice, a decision in your life as the clock is ticking down. A lot of people think that January 1st is when they are going to make the resolutions, when this whole cycle and process is going to start. Actually, no, the new chapter will be with this Christmas solar eclipse in Capricorn, which will build and build and build up to this Pluto-Saturn conjunction where there will be no more room for decision, no more room for sort of moving around. We are in this space now where Capricorn is becoming more solid, more rigid, more structured as we're moving into this new space. A lot of these energies of Sagittarius starting to die off, of being more faithful, more optimistic, now we're sort of moving into this place of being more realistic and more goal driven. And so this is a time where are you ready to accomplish your goals? Are you ready to move forward? Because this Mars sextile Pluto story is all about what action steps are you going to take to go through this transformation? And this is super intense as we're dealing with this Scorpio energy and this Capricorn energy of this ambition, this drive to get to the top, to get to your success, your achievements. And we also have this square from Venus over to Uranus. They are in mutual reception as Venus would rather be in Taurus. Uranus would rather be in Aquarius. But with this, Venus in Aquarius is making things electrified. It is changing up our values, encouraging us to try out new things, encouraging us to find value in things that are different, that are unique. And it's making this square over to Uranus and Taurus where it's trying to elevate us in our values, in our belief systems, in the structure and the foundation that we have formed in our lives. And so this is a big revolution. This is a big evolution of who we are moving into this new space and this is all building up to this big saturn pluto conjunction on january 12 2020 and so we are in this super intense moment where if you are on the fence if you are trying to go backwards then you have missed the ship you have missed the journey you have missed the destination of where you're headed in 2020 because this is all about moving into this destiny and of course with this Jupiter and Capricorn it's in its weakest position where this is a full-on faith test of if you're willing to put in the work and do the steps to get to your opportunities your achievements in life and so 
this story has become very realistic, very practical about what steps are you going to take? What is your strategy? How are you going to get there? And I talked a lot about this in the Saturn Pluto conjunction video, but it's interesting because in the spiritual community, we do talk a lot about trying to go higher, trying to elevate and all of these things, not being attached to the physical, right? We talk a lot about money and how it shouldn't relate to our spirituality, but there is something big about how Uranus, the collective energy of what is elevating us, what is taking us higher is in Taurus, where Taurus does care about money. It does care about beauty. It does care about the physical things. And of course, all of this physical energy from Capricorn, from this huge stellium that is building, that actually it is the physical things that matter at this point. It is about achieving success on a physical level. If you are doing the Neptune and Pisces thing of trying to escape to a higher spiritual realm and trying to detach from reality, then that is going to be your downfall at this point because we are in a space where doing the physical work and the physical steps and ensuring that you have your foundation, that you have everything on the physical level in place as it should, as it serves you to your highest, greatest good is how we get to this doorway leading up to this moment in 2020. And this is big as really we have closed this chapter of 2019 now where a lot of this energy, it has been a number three year about these opportunities, about expression, about opening these big doorways, this number three year, very Jupiterian energy that actually now with all of this Capricorn energy and all of this build up leading up to this major new moon solar eclipse in Capricorn and with this aspect over to Mars in Scorpio making the sextile and of course with Uranus and Taurus backing it up that actually now we are in a brand new chapter. This is the time to push your decisions for 2020. This is the time to move forward and do the work that is necessary to get there because this is it. Once we move into this new moon solar eclipse, if you have not made a decision, then your decision is to go backwards. We are now in a space of where we are headed in to 2020. And so it is now time to do the work. It is now time to put the effort and the time and the discipline in because that is this whole story of this Jupiter and Capricorn that actually to get this Jupiterian abundance and success at the end of it, it's in Capricorn now where it takes discipline, it takes work, right? Capricorn is the most solid of the signs and puts in the work and the effort to climb to the top. And so there is something where if you have become custom to this Jupiter and Sagittarius energy of things just being handed to you, magical opportunities showing up, that we've closed the doorway in the chapter on that. Now we are in a space where you are going to get the results of what you put in. You are going to get back exactly what you have worked for, exactly the time and the effort that you put into, because that is this Capricorn story that are you willing to climb the mountain to your success? Are you willing to push through challenges? And there's something big about this Saturn and Capricorn energy where it is reminding you that in order to get to the top, you have to push through. There's something about this Saturn energy that is very ancient, very wise, but it's always that old man who is at a point where he wants to give up and pushes through that this is the whole story is the people who are winning now as we're moving into this year of the rat are the people who are willing to do whatever it takes to get to that finish line, right? When we talk about this Jupiter in Capricorn energy, it goes back to this year of the rat that we're moving into where the rat won the race by riding the ox and jumping across the finish line. So there is something here where what are you actually willing to do? What effort, what time are you willing to put into this new chapter? 
and that is exactly what you will get back. So this is a destined moment. This is a great moment for those of you who are willing to do what it takes to get to your beautiful dream and destination. But it is a challenging year and a challenging moment that we're moving into if you are still on the fence, if you're still deciding, if you are still repeating old patterns from the past. Because that has been this whole story with this North Node in Cancer, South Node in Capricorn that are you just repeating old cycles, old systems, old belief systems? Because with Capricorn on the South Node, we're leaving behind these old structures, these old systems, these old ways of doing things as we are moving into this North Node in Cancer that is all about this divine connection and this unity and actually nurturing and fulfilling your needs to the fullest. And this is a big story for a lot of people is are you actually going to do what is truly fulfilling to you? Are you actually going to move into this divine connection that serves you to the highest, greatest good? Or are we going to repeat these old systems and these old structures that have been put in place? Because we are moving into the spring with a north node in Gemini with Venus retrograde on top of it where your values are going to be questioned, where answers and information is going to come up about actually does this serve you, does it not? And Gemini north node is the exalted position because this is where the north node is trying to learn, trying to understand, trying to move into this new space. And of course, that Gemini curiosity pushing us into that new space, into those new lessons, those new experiences. And so it'll be a big test for a lot of people if they are ready to move into this space. And I talked about this before, but definitely this 2020 moment feels like a huge split that yes, it's 2020 vision, but some people will go backwards and some people will go forwards. So this is a major split that we're moving into. And so it is time to decide which direction you are moving into because that solar eclipse new moon in Capricorn is that major decision of which way you're headed forwards or backwards on this Capricorn journey. And as I told you before, Capricorn doesn't have it backwards. We climb up the mountain or we don't. So if you are headed backwards, then you are moving into old cycles and getting stuck in the past, repeating the same thing versus moving into this new space that is opening up to you, right? Spirit is opening up new things for you in your life. And so this is why we've seen this throughout 2019 of people ending friendships, ending jobs, ending out old situations in their lives because this is making room for something brand new. And as we're moving into this new decade, this new year, this new space, that this is big. This is starting a brand new chapter in your life. And if we break it down to numerology, that this is a number 22 year that we're moving into of the master builder. And so what destiny are you building for yourself? And we break that down to four where it is dealing with the home, the surroundings, the security, the connection of what is it all going to look like for you and your life. So this is a big story that we're moving into. We've already started it with this Jupiter and Capricorn, but of course this Capricorn buildup is becoming more and more intense as we're moving closer and closer to January 12th, 2020 of this big Saturn-Pluto conjunction moment. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new content. And I will see you all in the next video.